Welcome back, everyone. I just wanted to share a new video with you all. Um, this is an animal movement routine that includes some stretches and some challenging movements that you can do at home with no equipment. Um, the only equipment that I use in the video is a pull-up bar to hang from to do the monkey hang but you could just as easily use a tree branch in your backyard. And if you don't have anything to safely hang from, then just go ahead and skip that exercise. Uh, make sure your, everyone is resting 10 seconds at least between all of these. Um, and after the monkey hang, we go into the downward dog. This is a classic yoga pose where you are stretching everything on the back portion of your body. So all the way down through the shoulders to the back, all the way to your hamstrings, calves, and even your heels. So this is a great exercise. It's a lot more difficult than it looks. Um, if you hold it, try to keep your legs as straight as you can. Try to keep your feet as flat on the floor as you can. And of course, if you cannot, just try your best and eventually you'll be able to do those things. Next, we will do another classic yoga pose, which is known as the Cobra Pose. This actually focuses on the opposite of what the downward dog does. We are working on the front portion of our body. So we're working from our shoulders and chest down through our core, um, all the way to the top of the legs and down through the knees. So you want to hold this position with your arms straight, locked at the elbows. Um, focus your weight on the bottoms of your palms and make sure you're breathing while you do the Cobra Pose in through the nose and everything is under control and you're taking your time Try that for 30 seconds. All right, now after we've gotten some rest in between those first three movements, we are going to move into something that I'm sure is familiar to our viewers and to students of my classes. Uh, we're gonna go right into a frog squat, which yes, is a deep squat, but because I'm calling this our animal movement routine, I'm going to call it the frog squat. So again, try to hold this for 30 seconds, try to keep your back straight. And again, this looks a lot easier than it really is. Um, it took me a few weeks to be able to even do a frog squat correctly. And then it took me another few weeks to be able to hold it for 30 seconds. After that, make sure you rest. And then I've already made a video on this next movement. This one is the duck walk. And I'll even link uh, in the description um, to my first video on the duck walk. Now you'll notice in my living room, I don't have a ton of space. Um, but that just goes to show you that even when you don't have an ideal amount of room, you can still do these movements. Sometimes you just have to improvise a little bit. In the future, I'm gonna work on trying to create more space in my living room. All right, up next, um, again, this may look familiar. Um, we did in our Earlier series of videos, I had a crab position as part of a warm up routine, um, but here I'm actually doing the crab walk. So just make sure you're really taking your time and focus on controlled movements. This is an absolutely great movement to stretch your shoulders, to add strength to your shoulders. Um, it works on balance, it works on your core. Um, this is a very challenging movement if you've never done it before. So also make sure that you are taking your time, giving your wrists a break when you need to. All right, we are halfway home. 
Um, now we're going into the bear crawl. Again, this looks easy, but it's all about moving um, with your left arm and then your right leg, left leg, right arm, so on and so forth. You want to keep that staggered position going because this is the best way to work your core, your back, shoulders. And just like with the crab walk, this is just focusing on a different set of muscles. And once you really get it, it's a lot of fun and it's something that you can do just about anywhere. So try that for 30 seconds and make sure you take a 10 second rest in between. All right, up next, um, this one we have not seen. This is called the ostrich. Um, try to keep your legs straight. You can give a little bend in your knee, but as you'll notice, I'm trying to be explosive with my hands when I come back up, and I'm just walking up a couple inches each time with my feet um, when I'm doing the ostrich. It's a fantastic animal movement for stretching out your legs and something that I enjoy a lot it always makes me feel better after I'm finished with it. All right, after a 10 second break, we get into the inchworm. Again, this one is all about slow and controlled movements. We are walking out with our hands uh, and then inching forward with our tiptoes. Um, if you have the ability to get into a push up plank position and walk up from there great if not just do as much as you can and eventually you will get that mobility but it's all about the core and the legs and the shoulders in this one all right now we're resting for 10 seconds here's a really fun one that is kind of the first step to doing really good cartwheels um so this is called the ape and again, try to be as under control as possible. It's not about doing this fast. If you notice that your feet are slamming into the floor, that means you're going a little too far, a little too high. So what I would recommend is try your best to be as quiet on your feet as you can. And you'll notice that I'm bringing my hands out to the side pretty far in front of me so that when my feet land, I'm in a squat position. All right, we have a couple more and this routine will be over. So here we are doing probably the most difficult one. This is called the alligator crawl. It's similar to a push up, but you'll notice that I'm bringing my knee close to my arm. And again, here you wanna make sure that you're going opposites. So when I move my left arm, I'm bending my right leg and vice versa. So this is all about control. And again, this is not about how many you can do. This is not about going fast. This will challenge your entire body from your arms to your chest, to your core, to your legs. This one really does take a lot of time. Um, so I highly recommend you try it and don't get frustrated if you're having problems. All right, last one, definitely not least, uh, we combine the crab position and the bear position, or you can call it the beast. And this is all about shoulder mobility. So make sure you're under control. You're moving back and forth between the crab position and the beast position. I call this the crabby beast. Um, try this one out for about 30 seconds, just like the rest. And I like to do this one last because it's not super hard. So it is easier to finish with this one. And I'll tell you guys, after you're done with this whole routine, uh, you will be sweating and your body's gonna feel amazing. Please tell me what your favorite animal movement was. Uh, let me know in the comments. I hope this video finds you all in good health. Um, stay safe out there and thanks for watching.